Russ uh, Farsley three, Brackley nil. Uh, first win of the season. That must be really pleasing uh, result for us. Yeah, delighted. You're delighted. It's been a really tough week as well. You know, the three games in a week and put so much into to Alfreton and you know in 80 odd degrees and then file obviously full time team. Uh, didn't quite get our rewards. Uh, got us rewards today. Obviously, the sending off plays a, a massive role in the game. You know, you, you feel for their gaffer a little bit. I've been there myself. It's very difficult after that. But uh, second half, a lot better. Managed the game, kept the ball, you know, played on the counter at times, and uh, scored three excellent goals. Another key man, obviously, Max making his second penalty save of the season at nil nil at the time, and then Jimmy goes and scores. But they, they were two key points in the first half, weren't they? Huge moments in the game. Yeah, fantastic save, double save as well. To be yeah. fair, made a double save off the penalty. Um, Jimmy gets a great finish. I think that was a, you know, it was probably his first move. Uh, sorry, his best move first half. Jimmy's goal gets in, links off, gets in the behind. Great little ball through and finishes it really well. Uh, and, then, and then his second goal is a, a great striker's goal, getting across people. That's that's his his forte, if you like. I said to him today, I want you to play more through the middle. I think that's important for us. You know, be that focal point. I don't want you running channels. That's other people's work. Stay in the box, and uh, that's where you'll get your goals. So it's, it's work for him today. And then Keon, Keon comes on at uh, half time, does a fantastic job for the team, looks after the ball well, looks a fit boy. Uh, again, he could have had two or three goals, I think, on the counter attack. But uh, thankfully, we got that third goal because you're never quite sure in these kind of games. He goes through and a uh, great pass from Jimmy, but uh, you know, finishes, finishes it really well. And at 1 0 as well, obviously, we had to dig deep a little bit. Maybe Rodan looked slightly, they hit the post, but that second goal was quite a crucial moment, wasn't it? And like I say, the third killed it off. Yeah, yeah, it, you know, from their point of view, it's not a 3 0 game. Uh, nowhere near a 3 0 game, but, you know, we take that. Uh, it's nice to get a clean sheet. You know, the, the back four had, had work to do, defended well at times, and obviously, Max had a really good game, made, made crucial uh, saves at uh, crucial points in the game. Um, the flip side of it, it's, it's about getting results at any level. So to come away and win, win 3 0 against a team that finished second last year, I know they've made a lot of changes to their squad um, to score three goals as well. You know, we've, we've, we spoke about that as well. Uh, you know, we, we need to create more chances. You know, we're not really getting you know, bodies in the box, we're not putting enough crosses in the box. Um, we did that better today, so but still lots to work on. You know, lots to work on on, on game management. Mm -hmm. You know, game understanding for you know for some of the players as well. Um, but we're only four games in, so you know we'll, we'll keep progressing. Like you just said, there we got a couple of goals from open play. We've been a bit goal shy probably in the game so far this season. So does that relieve the pressure slightly? I know you said the lads have been working on certain things that you've said, but to, to have got some goals from open play as well, that must be good. Yeah, without a doubt. It, it's, it, if you ask any manager, it, it's always a massive relief when you get the first win because the, the, the pressure mounts each game. Each game you don't win. You know, you look at Boston now. I think they lost again today. All of a sudden, the pressure mounts. Not just on the manager, but just on the players as well. Hopefully, today, you know, gives us that uh, that, that first that first win, and hopefully that will uh, you know breed more confidence into the players. There's just slight couple of downsides as we've maybe picked a couple of injuries. Luke parking in the warm up and uh, Lewis Butt ride during the game as well. I think he's uh, had a hit to his ankle. Hasn't he? Can you give any detail on those? Yeah, he's he's, he's Luke rolled his, his ankle. Unfortunate, uh, a ball just hit him. I think he's rolled it on the ball. Um, Lewis has obviously gone for a header. Lewis Butroy gone for a header and landed on that, and then again rolled it. Uh, we've, we've got Chris Atkinson out there with, with a groin injury that, that played the full uh, 90 minutes. So massive credit to him. Um, we've got Dave Sayers who's, you know, trying to get up to speed, fitness-wise. We've got Tom Allen who's not played since last February. So all of a sudden, you know, we we. Uh, Gone from a sort of fully fit squad to, to quite a few injuries in, in space of one game, and that's what I'm doing football. So, um, you know, we've been looking at hopefully got three week next week um, and looking at, you know, how, how they progress in the week towards next Saturday. Like I say, thankfully, we have got a midweek off and then looking towards Saturday's game against Curzon Ashton, there'll be quite a few familiar faces from uh, the, the team that. Yeah. from last season so it could be an interesting one isn't it and obviously another chance for to pick up some more points next time. Yeah it's uh, they won again today so they won back to back after losing I think the first two so it's uh, it's, a, it's a strange league you know if you, I think if you turn up on the day in this league you've got a great chance of winning so uh, and then we've got the Darlington game after that as well on the on the, on the bank holiday Monday so a really tough uh, weekend but this week uh, week's gap will give us a chance to, to rest a few. Thank <laughs> you.